So back here in the part model 24, we've got a nice even coat of our wet system epoxy. Uh, we've taken the majority of it off the top, still left all of our saw marks, uh, filled in all the gaps and the holes around the edges, built up this edge, built up this edge. Cut it down with a belt sander to make a nice rounded even surface. We're getting ready to prep for our tabletop finish. Um, a lot of people will think they've got to clean it with acetone or xylene. You don't want to clean your epoxy with that. Here's how we set up our uh, sander. Put it on the shop back, blow it outside when we're sanding. You don't want to breathe into that dust. And the reason you don't want to use these is because what separates out of the top of here is a little sticky wax. And that little, you can feel it in a few spots, it gets a little tacky, and that is a wax. It comes up out of the wood, out of the epoxy where they react. And if you use either of these, what you end up doing is driving it down into the finish and it turns white and cloudy. So keep those guys out of there. A little bit of water. I generally use um, uh, a little bit of hot water out of the coffee pot. You can use cool water too. But a little bit of water come right out of the coffee pot and pour it on top of there. And a little scrubby. And you scrub that wax right off. There's just no skipping elbow grease when it comes to epoxy. So, and you get to see what this looks like. So, now this is what it's going to look like when we put our, our clear bar top on there. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of whiting right in here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that little streak of white right there. And that came from a little bit of wax that uh, didn't get wiped off good enough. So now I'm going to have to sand that out, dry it off, sand it out, and give it another light coat of epoxy before I go to the final coat. So, that's how that kitchen countertop's coming along. Looking forward to seeing it finished. I can't stress enough how much stirring this actually takes. You want to stir it for five minutes. I'm using part A and part B equal parts. I'm mixing equal parts, filling this can up. Recycle these two cans. I'm not using West system here. And so I filled the quart can up twice and added it to the gallon can and stir, 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 very slowly. You see it's nice and clear now, the whiteness is gone and there's no bubbles, very important. All underneath here you'll notice that we've had to uh, tape everything off because you drag with the blade you'll drag over the edges everywhere and so it water falls off the edges of your countertop you need to be able to catch that we build little dams with the duct tape so it doesn't run off onto the hardwood floor and these little foam brushes are great for getting into tight spaces but you don't want to use them too much they do like to make bubbles and just a Bondo knife will work, or a squeegee. Stir, stir. And then I did a rookie mistake here. You'll see I poured, and then I set the can down. Rookie mistake. I've done this before and I should know better. If you set the can down after you start to pour, the product on the countertop that I poured out now kind of slows down but what's in the can it starts heating up and so I had to do my pour twice okay so we're using the uh, uh, the heat gun on high and you kind of want to run over everything and this creates little spots for all the bubbles to to pop out they come to the surface you want to do it pretty quick before it has a chance to start to gel up on you once it stiffens they'll just make pock marks 
Don't forget to go around the edges. It's looking good. First pour is looking great. I'm happy with it. And I'm going to show you a couple little spots here where I didn't get all the wax up. And you see where it fish eyed? Right there. Right there. Well, so I'm going to have to sand those spots down, clean them with uh, hot water again. That's what it looks like after I sanded them and cleaned them. Again, we're not using that West system. I'm just recycling the can. Right there. See the, where the wax came through and it fish eyed? Okay, second coat, second day. And I poured it all out this time. Spread it around, get a nice thin coat. Be sure and take that brush along the edges when you're done. It's important to run those uh, that knife along with the grain and get a nice self-leveling even coat. Doesn't this look pretty? Now this will harden up over the next three days. <laughs> 